let's get back to the shop. What is up YouTube? How is everybody out there doing today? Comment below if you're doing good. If you're doing bad, comment below. Uh, so, this video is a sad, sad video. I've got some extremely bad news about my Trans Am, my, my beautiful red Trans Am sitting outside. But first, a little update on the shop. I know you guys have been asking me uh, for a couple of videos now to show what's going on in the shop and stuff of that nature. And I know I'm not doing a lot of shop build videos. I'm trying to focus more on the Duramax and the Trans Am now, obviously, uh, for videos because they are, you know, I can do a lot of cool things with those. So I want to kind of focus on those a little bit more than the shop at this point. And I can explain why I'm doing that at a later date if necessary. So... As of right now, we'll give you guys a little bit more of an update going on. We have, as you see behind me, this uh, Cadillac CTSV that started out to just be a, um, a bolt-on setup, basically. He just wanted to do uh, headers and exhaust, the coder intake. We were going to build him a custom uh, a heat exchanger box here for him and everything of that nature. Build ended up turning into heads and cam and fuel pump and ported blower and, uh, you know, all kinds of fun stuff like that. So that's the one build going on right now we'll go back here to this car forget what year this is i think it's a 2000 or a 99 c5 but uh he's actually getting the transmission built which is over there in that pile of junk there's poor leroy jr so we got the transmission out i got to build that transmission for him and then we're going to do a cam install and there's something a little special about this. I don't know if you guys can notice it, but this vehicle actually has a Vortex supercharger on it. It's not on there anymore. Uh, we took it off. We will be reinstalling it again and putting a custom boost cam in this car. Um, the owner thinks he might have a cam in here. As of right now, he kind of bought the car like this, but he's not sure. We pretty much just decided to put a bigger, you know, more boost ready cam, or that way he knows what cam's in here actually, when we're actually gonna be done with it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that for him, but that's two of the projects that are in the shop at this time. All right, guys, on to the main event, the sad, sad story that I have to tell you. And it is, of course, about the Trans Am. Say hi to Hammer Down. <laughs> we got the Trans Am out here, guys, and it's, it's a sad day for her. I was out in Mexico. I'll give you a little story background on her, on what's going on here. I was out in Mexico with a friend of mine. He has a Mustang and, um, we were, you know, messing around, having some fun, you know, doing some pulls. And uh, I came back to the shop, and literally, I was right down there. And as I'm coming into my shop, the transmission decided, you know what? Third and fourth gear, we don't want to work anymore. So uh, I guess you guys can kind of figure out what's going on with her now. She is done. The transmission decided to take a shit on me. Which isn't a big deal, honestly, because I was planning on rebuilding the thing anyways. So I'm just, just going to pretty much happen a little quicker as, as opposed to a little later. I was hoping that maybe we could put this turbo system on the car for the call out that we're having on October 28th at Cecil County Dragway. And uh, maybe the tranny would last, but it doesn't look like it is. So let's check the transmission fluid. We're going to see how dirty and dingy it is and uh, go from there. Now that we have the hood opened, we can uh, probably check transmission fluid and see if we can maybe smell that it's burnt or something of that nature to give us a better idea of uh, what really happened. I know what kind of happened, but you know, you should always check the fluid just to make sure. So uh, let's do that. Oh, that looks full. What the heck? I don't understand. Maybe it's this one. This one? Hmm. No, Steve. What? I think it's this one, maybe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you want to cool. Okay. Yeah. I, okay. See, I. I'm sorry. I didn't even know that. You know. Uh, obviously. Oh, no, Steve. This says engine coolant. Oh, I thought it was. A, oh, okay. Yeah. I was thinking about. Well, you know what? We should probably check it anyways, because I think this cools the engine oil. That's in. The, oh my God. Look at that engine oil. It looks wow. rusty. It does. That is some rusty engine oil right there. That's crazy. Unbelievable. Um, God, I'm, I'm like running. I'm literally, literally here. Maybe. Oh, no, no, no. That's the meth uh, level sensor is oh, what that is. Yeah, yeah. I've checked that already. The meth level is good to go. What else were you looking at? Oh, this one here. Oh, no, this is my intercooler. Uh, 
fluid. Oh, oh, that one. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the nitrous bottle is what this is. Oh, okay. Right there, yeah. Oh, yeah it's blue, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's great. It's kind of a pain in the ass to fill sometimes, but I mean, when I take this out to fill the nitrous, it, uh, you know, it's, it's a pain in the ass. You gotta take the whole bumper off. It's just, a, it's a damn mess. It's just crazy. Oh, here, is there something under, under that, maybe? I think that's actually to fill your tires up, to be honest. Oh, really? Is that, yeah, I think like so. It's like a Humvee. Yeah, oh yeah, it is like a Humvee, where you can actually, like, yeah. fill them from the inside of the vehicle. Right. Yeah. And that's just where you charge Oh, them. you know what? I know where that button's at, too, Steve. I know where that button's at. It's over here. Right, right there. Right there's that button. It oh, says okay. it says TCS. You see it in there? Yeah, yeah. It says TCS. Yeah, and the reason sense. it says TCS is for um tire control system. Tire control system. That's exactly what it stands for. Tire control system. Makes sense. Oh god, this is kind of a here, but, uh, well yeah, that's for the rear tires. That's probably you know, yeah, yeah, you're that's right. for the rear ones because you need a bigger port on the rear tires. Yeah, the wider. You know, because they're wider obviously than the fronts. That's for the fronts, that's for the rears. You gotta be specific on, you know, this this is very technical stuff here. This stuff so. here too. I mean it is September, so we're gonna yeah. have to go the winter air. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna be putting my green caps on my wheels this season too. Yeah. You know, that way people know the winter air is in my uh, is in my tires and they don't let it out and everything. I mean, since it's so warm, we didn't have to run 50-50. Yeah, so yeah. So that's fall air. But... Yeah, and that's a good thing. That's a very, very yeah. good thing. Yeah, so good. we still gotta find this transmission fluid level sensor thing. I don't even know. I don't know if this one has one. What? Is that green cap over there? What green cap? Right there. Oh, no, that's the purge. Purge for the nitrous? That's my purge for my nitrous, yep. Oh, okay. That's what that is right Makes there. Sense. Yeah, I know. Well, I, well, we didn't check this one here. Oh, wait, it says translock. Well, that's for your lockup, isn't it? Oh, or you know what? I think you're right. We yeah. should probably check it regardless because it is yeah, for the lockup, you know. the transmission lockup. I think that's for the transmission lockup, guys. So we should probably check that. I mean, it's probably not going to check it, honestly. Probably not. not. Anyway. Oh, my gosh, look at that. Oh, that smells. That smells really disgusting, man. That's not good at all. Yeah. So I, I think that's our problem. It's, I think the problem is, since the trans lockup converter fluid is smoked, we now have bad transmission. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense to me. All right, guys, now that we found the problem, obviously we knew what the problem was. It was the uh, transmission. <laughs> we are going to be fixing it. Like I said, we are definitely gonna be pulling this transmission out, but I have one little problem that's gonna kind of hold me up a little bit. And that little problem is I have a lot of cars to work on and I have no lift as of right now. See, because the cars are on the lift and I can't just push them off just to get my car on and pull the tranny out and wait a few days and it's just too much work to do that. So I have devised a plan and I'm gonna show you what that plan is. We're gonna walk in the shop and I'm gonna show you what I have amongst other things, which is awesome. Shop's a wreck right now. So, Right down here, underneath the table, is a 4L65E transmission that I bought years ago. And you guys are probably wondering, so? It's a 4L65, who cares? I care, because if you know anything about transmissions in general, that 2001 Trans Am has a 4L60E transmission in it. And the problem with that transmission is it has four pinion planetaries front and rear in that transmission, where, as that 4L65 transmission has five pinion planetaries in it, front and rear. Now the good thing about this is the fact that it's a stronger setup and there's one extra clutch in the 3-4 clutch drum as well, which is also a good thing, which will you know help with you know the non-3-4 in that car anymore. So my plan is I'm gonna build that 4L65, plus it has a deep pan on it too. If you guys know anything, those came with shallow pans. These have deep pans on it, so they're even better. I'm gonna build this transmission, get a stall converter for it, and then I'm basically just gonna swap the transmissions out in a few hours, which makes my life a little bit easier, doesn't eat up my lift as long, which is also great, and I'm probably gonna do that pretty much at the same time as I install my awesome, where'd Max hide it? My awesome turbocharger setup. 78 millimeter, oh yeah, oh yeah. 96 hot side, all the piping, and side exit exhaust is gonna be freaking, 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 freaking awesome. You guys are wondering, man, Andy, that's a big turbo, 78 millimeter, you're not gonna make no power. Yeah, wrong, I'm gonna make lots of power. That's the point. Um, the best part about it is I'm gonna make all my power on the top end with that turbocharger, 
because that car has a 273 rear gear and I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to leave it alone. So uh, I think with the stall converter, unless you guys have another recommendation for stall converter, uh, comment below if you do. Uh, probably for the stall converter for the uh, turbo kit, it's, you know, I would say, I don't know, maybe a 3200 stall. I don't think I really want to go any higher than that because it is a stock cam setup. And I am leaving it with a stock cam in it. Uh, I think that car is going to easily should should have no problem putting down 550, 600 horse to the wheel with a uh, alky control methanol injection kit, which I will be also putting on the car as well. All right, guys, we do have, let me position the camera a little bit better here. We do have a, a piece of mail in the P.O. box. Uh, this was a few days ago, and I figured, uh, you know, it's always good to you know talk about mail time, obviously. And uh, this gentleman, Cole Kramer, sent me a letter. He's from uh, High Point, North Carolina. And uh, let's open it. It's already opened up. But he sent me some stickers, and I wanted to share that with you guys. Dun, 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 dun. He sent me some. We'll take out one of them here. We don't need all of them. <clears throat> he gave me a, a couple stickers. But I guess he's on Instagram at Redline Muscle. Has a ton of uh, followers on Instagram, like 140,000, something like that. So he writes, Dear Andy, just thought I would send you some decals. I run the Instagram account, Redline underscore Muscle, a classic and modern muscle core page with 150,000 followers. Love the channel. Keep up the badass videos. Uh, coming. Thanks. Cole K. Well, Cole, thank you very, 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 very much for the stickers. And as always, everybody, if you would love... Uh, We'll put the stickers back in here. If you would love to send me any fan mail or uh, anything of that nature, you can send it right here to Diablo from the Racing, P.O. Box 303, Leola, PA, 17540. So, thirsty, I'm going to drink some water. <laughs> Just got back from uh, Supercars on State Street today with Nick and Mike. Not a bad show. Not a bad show. It's very, uh, very good. A little bit smaller than last year, but, you know, it wasn't bad. Well, guys, we'll end this video on that note. The Trans Am obviously is going to get fixed. We know that's going to happen. But I figured I'd make this video, you know, about uh, about her braking. And I kind of figured she would. It looked like the transmission might have been built before. Or not built, but I would say shift kitted with, um, you know, with, uh, with a reman transmission possibly. It has a different color converter in it. I've talked about that in previous videos as well. So it just obviously can't handle the abuse that I've given it with 200,000 miles and, uh, burnouts and donuts in Mexico and stuff. So uh, we're going to build the training and we're going to go ahead and get that turbo system on probably here in the next week or so and get it ready for the October 28th YouTube call out down in Cecil County, Maryland. Like usual, guys, check out the description. There's lots of information down there. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It's a red button right up at the top. All you have to do is click on it. There's a bell next to it. Turn that bell on. You'll get notifications of my videos that I uh, that I bring out. I usually try to bring a video out for you guys every two to three days. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, hopefully. But if not, every two to three days, give or take. I'm trying to take the weekends off here because uh, I just want to kind of enjoy time a little bit and not have to be in front of a camera all the, all the time. But uh, Instagram, Diablo from the Racing. Facebook is also Diablo Formula Racing. Go check out those two uh, social media outlets. Deuces.